Wow. Um, it's just so great to be here. Um, thank you, Prime Minister. Uh, really appreciate those words around the rise of women's sports, particularly women's basketball. And it's great to be back in Toronto and such an honor to have you all here with us on such a historic day in the basketball community here in Canada. And as I look around the room, wow, I am so humbled to see what an impact the WNBA has had on this city and this country. And today is truly a special day. Um, Toronto and Canada hold a special place in my heart for the WNBA. We know the rich history of women's basketball here, from legends of the game like Stacy, Tammy Sutton Brown right there, to current stars like Kia Nurse, Bridget Carlton, and rookie stars, the Prime Minister mentioned, Aaliyah Edwards. We're so proud of the Canadians in our league, and there's so much excitement. I mean, the preseason game that the Prime Minister mentioned, and then this year we were in Edmonton, last year here in Toronto, the energy and passion we saw in arenas was amazing. Um, and we know Toronto is a basketball city. I know for all those hockey fans, we're in the middle of the Stanley Cup playoffs here, but um, we've seen time and time again that Toronto is home to dedicated and enthusiastic basketball fans. I'll never forget last year at Scotiabank Arena when um, I attended our Toronto game and um, lots of people coming up to me and saying, thank you for making my dreams come true by bringing a WNBA game here. That's when I knew this is the right place as we're thinking about expansion. So, and the tens of thousands and hopefully millions of girls who were inspired that day um, is just something that you cannot replicate without bringing a team here to Canada. So with that, I am honored to officially announce that we have awarded the City of Toronto the 14th WNBA franchise. <laughs> The team will start play in our 2026 season, and we're just at such a pivotal, pivotal moment for our league. Um, we have set viewership records, sell out, selling out season tickets, growing the game, and adding this 14th team marks a particularly significant milestone in the ongoing growth of the, of the league. So this has been a major goal of mine, certainly since I joined the league a few years ago. I'm here with um, my team who made this all possible. Um, and we know, as we looked at the data around Toronto being a remarkably diverse city and vibrant city, and we're so proud that the WNBA is now part of this open and welcoming community. Um, and we're excited to expand outside the United States, and this is our first as well, uh, as we continue to work to bring in new audiences, new fans. Um, you know, it creates new opportunities for players. The, the depth of talent in this league is amazing. And so to be able to offer a deeper pool of talent with a team here in Canada as well is great. So, by the way, in case you haven't been following the WNBA, our players are not just the best basketball players in the world. They also serve as role models, community ambassadors, symbols of empowerment, and we can't wait to see how they activate and become fixtures here in the Toronto community around the impact that they will make. Um, so as the longest tenured women's professional sports league in North America, we just tipped off our 28th season last week. Um, we just, the momentum we have built, um, the leadership we're showing, last year was our most watched season in 21 years, and again, we're just tipping off year 28. We had the highest viewership in history of the WNBA draft this year, blowing away prior records. So now the City of Toronto will join us. Um, this is all possible because of Larry Tannenbaum and Kilmer Sports Ventures. They have been determined partners committed to bringing a WNBA franchise here to Canada. We've been in conversations with Larry for a while, uh, and it became clear that he and his team have the experience, the infrastructure, the expertise. Uh, this is a visionary ownership group. And to Larry and Judy, there is no one we would rather partner with to take the W's first step on our journey to become a more global league. We are so proud to make history with you. Congratulations. And Toronto, welcome to the W.
So, Larry, if you would come up, we'd like to present you with our iconic ball, May 23, 2024, Toronto. Welcome to the W.